Hi there, my name is Yvonne and I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness instructor, owner of Hike Fitness, and I've been creating these workouts for you to do in the convenience of your own home or wherever you would like to take them. Today we are going to tackle just a stretch class, so all you're going to need is some space around you, uh, maybe your water bottle if you would like, some nice soft music in the background, and uh, in this uh, stretch class we're going to of course target on um, stretching those areas, but we're going to focus also on your lower back giving you some exercises to relieve uh, the lower back if you have any issues like that going on. If you don't have any issues, honestly, this class is just perfect to get that beautiful stretch in because it is really important to add that in if you're doing workout or even if you're not working out, just to add it in to your, um, your daily life. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start on the floor. Awesome. We're going to roll ourselves back. Okay, we're going to start with both knees bent. Uh, you're going to pick a rotation and we're going to rotate those knees in a circle. And what I'm going to get you to do is exhale when you bring those knees towards your chest. Inhale when you're going the other direction. We're going to do two. And one. You're going to stop and we're going to go the other direction. And again, follow that breathing. Exhale as you bring it into your uh, chest. Good work. We're going to do four more. Two. And one. Awesome job. I'm going to get you to plant your feet onto the floor. I'm going to get you to lengthen one leg out, lengthen the other leg out. I'm going to get you to lengthen your arms. And we're going to take a nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, I'm going to lengthen your shoulders and kind of reach your tippy toes, knees, hips as long as they can. Inhale again. Exhale, give yourself that nice lengthen. Awesome, you're going to release and I'm going to get you to bend your knees again. You're going to grab them. And what we're going to do here is you're going to inhale, exhale, bring those knees almost pressed down and that flat back into the floor. Do that again. Inhale, exhale, pull those knees nice and One more time, just because it's such a great stretch. Exhale, pull, press down, nice flat back into the floor. Go ahead, lengthen those legs, those arms again for me. Next up, we're gonna do a little bit of a leg stretch. Some of you are comfortable with, the, with this one if you have been joining. But what we're going to start off with here is we're going to bend a leg and what we're going to do is press through your knee so you're opening up your hip a little bit. That's if you have really tight hips too. It's a really great one. If not, just a nice regular stretch. Inhale. Again, if you're feeling comfortable, exhale, press through that knee. Open up your hip. Great work. Let's plant that leg into the floor. Let's do that other side. Again, we're going to push through the knee to open up the hip. Exhale while you're doing that. Take an inhale. Exhale, push through again. Awesome work. Plant that leg onto the floor. This time what we're going to do is actually lengthen it and we are going to grab that first leg we started off with, and we're going to kind of bring that knee towards you, press down, and rotate in a circle. And then just rotate that ankle the other direction. Good work. A couple options here. If you like to leave this leg straight, go for it. If not, if you would like to bend it, we're going to lengthen that top leg we're going to take an inhale, and you're going to exhale, bring that leg towards you, and then try to bring your upper body towards the leg. Okay? 
Again, if you like to leave it straight, that is great too. Take an inhale, exhale, pull. We're all going to be looking a little bit different here. If you can't grab by the ankle, you just grab where you're comfortable. Try not to pull onto your knee. Inhale, exhale. What I'm going to get you to do is hold the stretch in your leg and lower the shoulders back down. Now this leg might have a little bit of a shake in it, but if we keep practicing our stretching, it's going to get a little bit easier. Awesome work. Next up, I'm going to get you to flex the foot at the top and I want you to take your leg off to the side. Let's make sure on the other leg, the hip, the knee, and ankle are facing the ceiling. Again, if you feel like you need to bend that leg, that's okay too. Now what you're gonna do here if you're looking for more is inhale, exhale, maybe a little bit lower, and then flex through that heel. And you might sink just a little bit lower into it. Let's move up to the center. We're going to grab with the opposite arm here. And what we're going to do nice and slowly is we're going to control the leg off to the side. We're going to take that same arm. What we're going to do is we're going to bring it up and we're going to take it to the other direction. And focus on a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Try that again for me. Inhale. And exhale through. Great work. All right, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to fall onto that back hip. That top leg is going to come in. Your knees are going to stay nice and tight. And your heel right to the glutes. If you're looking for more, inhale again. Heel a little closer, keep those knees tight. Great work. You're going to nice and slowly roll back onto your back. Lengthen your body out. And we're going to go ahead and bend the left leg. Good work. Right leg is going to cross. And you're going to pick up again. And inhale, exhale, pull that leg forward. Head and shoulder off the mat. Let's inhale, exhale, pull a little closer. I want your glute almost right off the floor. If you need to relax your head and shoulders, that's perfectly fine. But you do just get a little bit more of a stretch when they are. Lengthen out the leg that we are holding on to. The leg that was crossed is going to bend, and I want you to rotate your ankle. And let's do the other direction. Awesome work. All right, again, two options. If you feel like you need to bend the other leg as you straighten, that's perfectly fine. If you're comfortable keeping the leg straight, let's go for that. Lengthen the leg. Again, we're going to inhale. We exhale, pull the leg towards you. Then try that inhale again. Exhale, bring that leg and maybe your torso just a little bit more towards that leg. Inhale, exhale, pull. Without letting go of the leg, okay guys? Slowly bring the shoulders to the floor. We're going to try something a little bit different again. We're going to flex the foot and we're going to take it off to the side. So we just get a little bit of a deeper stretch in the back of the leg. We're going to inhale again and exhale, maybe fall a little bit deeper and push through that heel. Let's make sure on the other side, the hip, the knee, and ankle are facing the ceiling. It's not turned in or turned out. All right, let's slowly bring it up to the top. Opposite arm, you can point that toe if you like. We crawl down the leg with the same arm. We reach towards the ceiling, we go to the other side. We're gonna be 
bring the top leg through again. Knees close and heel to glute. You can hold this way or lengthen, whatever you prefer. Inhale, making sure knees are close again, heels towards the tush. Awesome work. We're going to release again. You're going to fall back onto your back. One more lengthen. We're going to do a little bit of an exercise, guys, to uh, strengthen the, the back a little bit or if your back is sore. Um, what we're going to do next is just do a couple. We're going to round the pelvis. We're going to reach towards the ceiling, and we're going to lower down. So again, we're going to round the pelvis first. So, you know, round towards your belly button. Push that pelvis into the air, squeezing the glutes, and lower. So it's not a fast thrust. It's a pelvis tilt, reach, squeeze the glutes, and lower. Awesome. What we're going to do next is we're going to take both of our knees to one side. And what you can do with your upper body is take your arms to the other direction. Now if you feel like you can, what I want you to try to do here is really push your knees down to the floor. Inhale, a little bit of a release. Again, on your exhale, push those knees down to the floor. Awesome work. Let's bring those knees up. Let's face in the other direction. Again, upper body can look the other way. We're going to take our inhales and exhale again, pushing both of our knees down to the floor. Can you do that again for me? Inhale, exhale, press. Inhale, one more time. Let's bring it to the center. Let's go back to just bringing that pelvis still, squeezing the glutes and lower. And again. One more time. Awesome work. Nice and slowly, we're going to lengthen. I'm going to flip my tippy toes around. I'm going to get you guys to come onto your, um, your tippy toes here. We're going to go into a child's pose, so knees down. Let's have those hips come back. Let's inhale. Let's walk those fingertips on the mat. Arm hips down a little low. Let's try that again. Awesome. What we're going to do here is just have your hands walk back. You're going to press yourself up. We're going to do a little stretch for the hips, guys. So I want you to have whatever leg you want to bring in front. Try to sit onto your hip. You're not sitting on your knee. Okay, so you're actually sitting on your hip. Your tippy toes flipped over. Your chest is up. And then I want you to start to walk your hands up. Let's inhale again, exhale, maybe fingertips a little bit more. Now here, try to press your hips down to the floor. Awesome work, nice and slowly, just walk those hands back. Let's flip the back tippy toe. This time, let's go into a nice downward dog, pushing those hips down to the floor. Pushing those heels down. Alrighty, bend your knees if you need that. Child's pose. Walk those fingertips, armpits down. Alrighty guys, other leg comes in front. So again, we're not sitting on our knee, we're actually sitting on the hip, the knees bent. We start with our chest up, walk those hands. Inhale, exhale, 
Walk those fingertips, armpits down, push the hip down to the floor. Again, we're going to walk those hands back. We're going to flip the back tippy toe. Let's go again into our downward dog. But this time, let's flip our heels. One, two, three, four. Good work. Awesome job. We're going to come back down onto the knee dice. Um, I'm going to get you to just kind of walk your hands back. I'm going to have you sit standing nice and tall. What you're going to do is just pick a leg, whatever you want to start off with. One leg is in front. I want you to bring your arms up. Flex that heel maybe a little bit. And I want you to lean yourself forward. And you're going to take a nice deep inhale. If you feel like you can go a little bit more, you're either walking your hands further away from your feet, or you're going to just bring yourself down a little more. Walk just a little bit more. Great job. What we're going to try to do next is from that back leg, press ourselves up. Chest is going to stay nice and tall. Our back leg is going to, to kind of, our back hip is going to extend. Go ahead, bring your arms up, add a little bit of a reach. And again, you're going to just do what's comfortable for you. Inhale, exhale, press through that hip. One more time. Now before we move to the next leg, let's just press back through. Staying tall and bringing that chest down again. Inhale. Exhale. What you can just do is sit. Slide that leg back through. Try to pose. Walk again. And then just walk the hands back. We stand tall. We choose our other leg. Okay, flex it. Let's come on up. And let's lead. Again, we're going to inhale. Exhale, come on down. If you want more, walk those hands. And again, we go. Nice and slowly, we push through our back leg. Let's have our hip push through. Again, chest stays up. We inhale. Exhale, maybe a little bit deeper. But again, what's comfortable for you? One more time. Awesome job. Let's straighten that front leg. Let's bring our chest down again. Let's inhale. Exhale, push. One more time. Awesome, just slide that leg back through again. One more little child's pose. Um, but I'm just gonna get you to walk your hands back. Um, we're gonna actually sit on our tushies, okay? What I'm gonna get you to do next, guys, we're standing nice and tall. What we're gonna do is twist the knees to one side. And what I'm gonna get you to do here is focus on pushing your hips and glutes down to the floor, okay? It's a little uncomfortable, but it's a very good stretch. Okay, here we go. Press down. Can you inhale again? Exhale, press down through that hip. Good work. 
Exhale, press. Hold it. Alrighty, let's bring those knees up. Let's go to the other side of the room, okay? So again, our chest is up. We're gonna press down through that back foot, back heel, back hip, back loose, push onto the floor. Inhale again. It, it feels a little uncomfortable, but again, it's just sort of releasing a little bit of tension if you have it going on. Try that again, inhale, and exhale, brush through that hip. This is a really good release for your back, believe it or not, so I really love this stretch. I've been doing it uh, for a couple weeks, it's been pretty nice. Alrighty, before we go to upper body, let's do just a little bit more on the floor. Let's have one leg straight, one leg bent. We're gonna twist the body. And I want you to kind of stick up your shoulders. I want you to look high towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just plant the hand. We're going to twist now the other direction and reach. And if you're looking for more, you can bend the back arm and really twist. Awesome work, guys. We're going to inhale. Again, we're going to twist. Keeping the chest up, head up. And twist it. Awesome work. Let's change. Alrighty, chest up first. We twist our torso, we keep our chest up, head up, twist it. And then we're going to twist it. Let's rock it. Inhale. Twist. Chest up, head up. And twist it. Awesome work. Let's have both legs straight. Let's reach towards the ceiling. Let's fall forward. Inhale, exhale, walk and fall a little bit more. Once more. Awesome work. Guys, I'm just going to get you to fold your feet, slowly come off the floor. All right, open up your legs for me. You're going to bring an arm across the body. You're going to scoot underneath and actually come by your wrist, not your elbow. You get a better stretch. Inhale again, pull. Come on up. Lengthen off to the side. Inhale, lengthen, good job, let's do the other side, arm across, underneath we go, press, up we go, grab the elbow, we do that again. Awesome. Okay, guys, this is the fun part. We're going to turn ourselves to the side, okay? We're going to round our pelvis. We're going to round our belly button. We're actually going to twist our thumbs. And if you've done my class before, you've done this one, and it's a very good stretch. Then we're going to peel ourselves, open it up. And again. So we start off with rounding pelvis. Round, 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 tilt. Slowly we peel ourselves open. Meet me in the middle here. I want you to do some nice torso turns. Ooh. 
We're going to bring our body up, okay? Up we go. Arms up, sorry. Float down. I want you to come on up. I want you to hold your body in a star. So engage that core. Make those arms nice and strong. Do that again. Come on down. Up. Lengthen. Bend your arms behind. Half neck circles. Have one here, come to one side, lengthen. Inhale, lengthen. Try the other side. Inhale, lengthen that arm down. One more. Arms out again. Down we go, up we go. Star. We go halfway. 